Is it haram to think that I'm cute? It's not, it's not haram. It's a fact. And change your profile picture. Why do you have a criminal as a profile picture? Time, this happens as well. قلت له طيب هل تذكروا طوال التاريخ القديم أو اليوم أن عالما من علماء المسلمين تحول نصرانيا؟ Then I asked him that, okay, have you ever heard before or now, in the past or present, that one of the great scholars of Islam has left Islam and gone to another faith? He said, no. Then I said, why? قال لا فقلت لماذا؟ كيف ترجم يا شيخ؟ Sheikh, why do you look so cute on TV? <laughs> what part of the room did this come from? <laughs> oh, I had it upside down. Oh, okay. uh, actually, <laughs> Sheikh, you can read that. What does it say? Do all Muslims have to wear a beard? Do all Muslims have to wear a beard? Actually, no. Not the girls. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Sheikh, don't you hate it when a girl's beard is longer than yours? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. The question is that in Islam, do we believe that uh, if gender is uh, what people think that it is? Duh. <laughs> what, what I understand of the question is that uh, in schools, they teach it that uh, gender uh, is up to you, what you believe you are, uh, a male, female, or in, in between. So I'm a uh, bird. <laughs> The topic of Jolof is one of the most sensitive topics in this part of the world. But I have a fatwa that will not be debated. And I will tell you that the Ghanaian Jolof... What is Jolof in the first place? Rice. <laughs> Brother Wild is from Australia. He doesn't know what is Jolof. Jolof is the rice dish. In India, they call it biryani. Okay. okay. Why don't you just call it rice? No, no, no. It's, it's special. I told you it's a very sensitive topic. <laughs> the jollof of Ghana is the best jollof. <laughs> well, listen, listen. The jollof of Ghana is the best jollof for as long as it is eaten in Ghana. Let's take a look right behind us, right there. Oh, yeah. Ah. It's that black cube in the desert that the Muslims worship and kiss the ground five times a day. <laughs> No, actually, that's the same place that Abraham and his son built right there. And it's the same place where Adam, our father Adam, put his head down on the ground and asked Allah to forgive him for approaching the tree. Yep. If I'm praying and I see like a bug or a spider or something, can I break my prayer and go somewhere else to pray? You see what? If the bug is bigger than you, probably yes, you can. But if it's an ant, or if it's a, a, a cockroach, that you can do this with your hand and it goes away, it's not going to hunt you down, and it's not equipped with special skills, and it will come after you. No, it will run away. Then you have to continue in your prayer. If you're getting a cobra or a black mamba coming to you, don't play brave uh, uh, and, and just continue Salat because we'll do your funeral a couple of hours later. No, run or try to kill it. I remember the guy, the guy saying, well, you know, my wife is a bit out of shape. Subhanallah. <laughs> Brother, you look like a pig.
<laughs> you worried about what your wife looks like. Are you worried about what you look like? It's like the guy telling his wife, you know what? Your belly's a bit big. She says, I know, I'm about to be a mother. What about yours? It's big as well. He says, well, I'm about to be a father. <laughs> La ilaha illallah. May Allah grant us ease. And look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about the man who will go to Jannah. Yaqul, وَزَوَّجْنَاهُمْ بِحُورٍ عِينِ And we married them and we give them wives from Hur al-Ain. See, men, their focus is women. No. Am I right? <laughs> How old are you? <clears throat> He's six. Call me when you're 16. <laughs> um, uh, my grandpa used to not pray in the past, and we know that like if a person does not pray at all, he uh, um, is counted as a kafir. But now he prays, alhamdulillah. Um, but my mother doesn't know whether um, when, my, when, her grand, when my grandfather, who's her father, she doesn't remember whether he was praying at the time where she got married to my father or not. So I'm worried um, because a kafir cannot count as a, a mah as a wali of a woman. So I'm worried whether their marriage in, is valid and whether I'm attributed to my father now. What is this? Is this a joke, Dima? Now you are cascading things that are way above your pay grade. And this indicates a grave error <clears throat> in the way people think. I really don't understand what's happening to the man today. I really don't understand. Sometimes they do things, even the Jahiliya don't do it. Even the pagan don't do it. No? Now, Shaitan also got shocked. No? The Shaitan also was suddenly, they see what's happening to these people. You know? Yeah, we know who is Shaitan, you know. Shaitan, they are very handsome men, you know. <laughs> so may Allah guide us, brother. Please stay away from things that is not fit for us. You know why the Prophet said, Woman, you can wear gold, you can dress silk. Your silk is very fine, it's very soft material. The man know, the Prophet said, don't wear silk. Unless you have certain kind of skin disease that you are allergic with any other material except silk then you, you can you know when you wear something that is very soft and you walk also very soft like the silk <laughs> no it confuses a lot of people behind you a lot of the guys here they follow all these girls right even some of the older guys they follow all these girls you know what my brother you're living a fantasy man these people don't even want to look at your face they don't even want to know who you are they're honestly there just to make themselves feel good. You've got all these follows. The only thing that's going to happen to you is on the day of judgment, right? Come here. Who did you follow on TikTok? Here's all the names. Who are these? You can't say Sheikh Beyonce, Sheikh. <laughs> these, are not, these are not Sheikhs. MashaAllah. Overreacting is part of our imbalance. If I'm driving in Saudi Arabia, here you drive good, MashaAllah. Malaysian people are very nice, very... Very easy going. In Saudi, mashallah, when I get in my car, I put my helmet. <laughs> and it, it, I become a different person. You know, I became very aggressive. And when we drive, if someone cuts over me, ah, he, he made a mistake. I will follow him until Mecca. <laughs> Just to cut over him. Seriously. This is how we feel and how we drive. Why? So many times... Someone does something wrong to you. Islam tells you, you may do the same thing wrong back to him or pardon him. And it's best you pardon him. People re overreact.
Some of you would like to know the secret on how to get real degrees the easy way. Go to the local pharmacy and buy a thermometer. It's loaded with degrees.